So here's another situation where Stephen A. Smith is taking another jab at Kawhi Leonard. You know, it's been enough ranting back and forth between Stephen A. and other uh, some of his other colleagues, you know, uh, about Kawhi Leonard since he's been on the Clippers. And it's always seemed like it's been a a hatred there. And um, I really don't understand why. I've said this many times before. So, I mean, you hear me say again, I don't understand why there's some form of hatred towards Kawhi Leonard. You know, he can say anything he wants. But I mean, as much as you talk about Kawhi Leonard, I mean, I truly believe he wants to just do an interview with Kawhi. I believe he's mad at Kawhi because Kawhi doesn't give him the time of day. Unlike, you know, Paul George does or any other player in the league who he wishes to sit down with every superstar that he chooses to sit down with or interview. He never gets turned down or he never gets looked away upon in regards to not getting the interview. And I feel like he'd been one to probably interview somebody like interview Kawhi Leonard for a while. But Kawhi just doesn't want to talk. And his team reaches out to media and lets them know where Kawhi stands with that. And Kawhi seems pretty strict in regards to who he talks to and um, those type of things. So I feel like that's where it might be a disdain or something like that with St Stephen A. Smith in regards, you know, in towards Kawhi Leonard. But, you know, the negative talk towards him really just needs to end. I mean, honestly, the guy's not doing nothing. Stephen A. went from, you know, Kawhi needs to retire and all these other things after, you know, the Clippers went out in the playoffs because Kawhi got hurt. But he didn't say that about Paul George when Paul George got hurt with the hyperextended knee before the playoffs started. He didn't say Paul George need to retire. I mean, Paul George has had a lot of injuries too there's a lot of players in the league who's had a lot of injuries he's not sitting there saying they need to retire but it's just something to specifically towards Kawhi that he just seems to have an issue with and it just really is becoming distasteful at this point honestly it is very toxic and I really just when it comes to the Clippers and certain things I don't really choose to hear anything from Stephen A. Smith because it's just all negativity you got to uplift these players understand they get hurt because it's a sport it's a part of the game it's no way you're going to play this game without getting hurt some players get hurt more than others you can't sit there and say a uh, one man should retire because he gets injured more than the next man that's just the way uh sports life is some players get hurt more than others some get hurt less but nonetheless everybody gets hurt at some point usually it's never really a player that's an iron man all his career there's times where you just get hurt and there's, and there's nothing you can do about it everybody can't be lebron james lebron never really got hurt in his prime but you gotta look at how much bigger and how much stronger how much thicker lebron james was than every other basketball player you look at all the other basketball players that get hurt a lot are a lot skinny they're not as strong they're not as buff they don't have as much mass on their skin and that makes a huge difference so when you think about it so because you know a body with more mass can endure more hits more take more pain take more everything rather than a body that has less mass so i mean lebron has been blessed to be strong all those things and blessed to be injury free most of his career up until now which is the waning part of his career so it really kind of doesn't matter as much but i mean Stephen a basically says that he thinks um in the in the clip there he basically says he don't think Kawhi leonard can ever get healthy and if that's the case you know if he's right then and yeah, the Clippers will probably won't win a championship if that's the case, you know, or at least not with Kawhi Leonard being there. But I mean, I do think that the possibility of Kawhi Leonard staying healthy enough to help them get to the mountaintop is very possible. I don't think Kawhi, you know, what I'm saying is uh, hurt to the point where he can't recover. I don't believe that. I believe he's he's good enough to get to where he needs to go. If he needs to load manage some during the season, well, Kawhi's been doing that his whole career, and load managing works for him. And that's the thing that I have with a lot of you know analysts like Stephen A. Smith that speak against load management, and even other players. I've even heard Jason Tatum come out and say something against load management, but you know Jason Tatum doesn't have no championships so I don't really give a damn what he says and personally he's on the Celtics so that's a team I never really liked at all anyway so I mean anybody's opinion from that direction I really kind of don't give a damn about even though I think Jason Tatum is supremely talented and I actually do like his game and him specifically but the Celtics no but I mean I think you know him speaking on it a couple weeks ago I think in an article I read something about low managing guys to try to play through it yeah but that depends on your injuries 
case. And also, it depends on whether the low management thing works for you or not. It works for Kawhi Leonard, and it's been work for him his whole career. And he's got two championships, more than some players who play all 82 games and play the playoffs and don't get a damn place or go nowhere in the playoffs. So, I mean, Kawhi is way more accomplished than players who play a lot more, put more work in, and maybe are injury f- or or just not as injured as much as he is and he still has a better resume than 90 plus percent of the the players in the nba so with that being said the man is well accomplished and has done a lot you know i'm saying his career even with the low management this is the reason why i said nobody really needs to speak against it because Kawhi really is hurt a lot of people think the media persuades a lot of people to think Kawhi is really not injured Kawhi has had quadricep injuries knee injuries he's had lower extremity injuries throughout his career and he still found a way to pull out two championships two defensive player of the years um you know, he, he's he's all NBA, he's on all NBA teams. I mean, he's very well accomplished for what he's done. So this is the reason why I said the negativity towards Kawhi is really unjust because low management has worked for him his whole career. Other players have started doing it and it fails for them throughout their career. But that's them. That's not Kawhi. Kawhi is a different person. He's a different player. And he comes from the San Antonio system where Greg Popovich instilled that in his players. Greg Popovich had him, Tim Duncan, other players whoever was on the roster he had all of them load managing through the season to go all in for the playoffs and go all out and try to win it that's the era that he comes from and i really don't understand why Stephen a really doesn't get that he's been criticizing Kawhi for load management every little thing that he can criticize him for and it's really a waste of time because Kawhi is a great player he's an all-time great he's a top 75 player he's one of the best that ever did it in this game of all time so when you think about that like in its entirety like you got to Look at it from a standpoint of he's great. His greatness is real and it doesn't need to be undermined. And for some reason, if the Clippers do pull out a championship, I think it'll not only shock the NBA world, but it'll definitely shock Stephen A. Smith. And I think he'll have to walk back a lot of his words. So, you know, in, in Kawhi's case, I, I know he really wants to prove Stephen A. Uh, wrong because he hears a lot of this stuff. He just doesn't, you know, hear it to the point where he's going to respond. But he hears a lot of these things. And I know he does. And I know the, Clip- the Clippers team is hearing a lot of these things. So I hope you know for their sake they stay healthy i want to see every team in the nba stay healthy because i want to see everybody at full strength play against each other and no excuses so hopefully they stay healthy and hopefully they make a run at their destiny and um hopefully for Kawhi leonard you know i'm saying either way i think he's well established he has nothing else to prove in his career but hopefully he can add another chip to his resume because i think that'll not only kill a lot of what the naysayers are saying but i definitely think it'll put him in another rarefied air even though he's already in rarefied air it'll put him in another more more of an elite class amongst all the other uh players or his contemporaries you know in the nba but hey that's my take on everything just leave any comments and uh we'll talk about it